Greetings brothers and sisters, my name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I hope you had a great Father's Day. I wanted to share with you a few insights today about our Heavenly Father. When we are caught up in the rapture, we will be with Jesus, but also with the Holy Spirit and with our Father. Our relationship with God will be amazing. Before I start, I want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He came to earth in the flesh, and he died on a cross for your sins and for mine. And he rose again after three days for our salvation. Rather than share a word today, I wanted to share with you some glimpses in to the heavenly places that the Lord has shown me concerning the Father, the Creator and awesome God. He is more than anyone can describe in a simple video. We do have the word. I also will share with you some moments I have experienced with the Father and what I have seen. I want to start by reading John 14, 6 through 11. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. Philip, his disciple, said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. And Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. And that was the scripture. You can see from this word that our journey toward the Father begins with Jesus. He came to reveal the true nature of the Father in Jesus said to Philip, his disciple, that the Father was in him and he was in the Father. Our true Father was revealed when Jesus walked on the earth. The works of love that Jesus did, like healing the sick and raising the dead, teaching and giving freedom, was our Father revealed in Jesus. He wanted you to know what your real Father was like. He loves you. He cares. He is in Jesus. He has a true Father's heart for you. Jesus is coming back soon, and he is in the Father. There is a distinction, and yet they are one. The beautiful love of Jesus that we have come to know is in the Father as well. He is gracious and loving, full of compassion and mercy. He is everything we have ever wanted or desired in a father. I want to share a couple of experiences that I have had that show how amazing the father is. One of the most intimate ones I had when I was, I was in prayer and I had a vision. I was with Jesus and we were walking down a path. I was admiring the beauty of the scenery and we came to a garden of roses. This field of red roses looked like it went on for miles, and in the garden was a garden house. I sensed that the father was there, and he was leaning over, and he was carefully tending to each rose bush. I couldn't really see him perfectly, but his being was there in his glory. I watched as he so carefully and tenderly was attentive to each rose bush. Each plant had many blooms on it. Some were wilting, though, and he took special concern for those and set them aside to apply extra love to that plant. I felt the Father's pleasure as he cared for each rose plant, and I knew that each bush represented a person's life. He had such incredible love for every plant. From this, we see that our Father loves each person intimately. Another time, not long ago, I was given a vision of the throne room. 
I saw it with my spiritual eyes. I wasn't there in my body, but it was a clear picture. I have shared a little from that vision, but in this scene, I could see the glory of the Father on the throne. He was surrounded by colors and lightning, and he emanated light like the sun. I saw rainbows flashing around the throne, but I couldn't see his face as the light was so strong. There were many angels bowing and worshiping, and some people too. All of the people were bowing or laying on the sea of glass before the throne and his glory covered them. The beauty of the Father is so glorious. I shared in one of my videos how protective our Father is. There was a moment Jesus beckoned me to step into him for safety. Jesus stepped into the Holy Spirit and then the Holy Spirit stepped into the Father. Our Father is our rock of safety our fortress and our defender. He is watchful for us. He is protective and guards us from danger. Years ago, I was in a huge prayer battle. My daughter and her husband were caught in a situation in a country and needed to get out. I went into a daily prayer worship warfare time over a period of many days for them while I was with them there. The situation looked impossible. However, one morning I woke up and I felt the Holy Spirit say the battle had been won. I began to worship and I felt the presence of the Father, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus come. I sensed them standing around me in a circle. The Father told me the plans for escape. I did exactly what he said and my family was freed and left the country within a day or two, exactly as the Father had instructed. The Father is truly a caring Father who sends breakthrough. He sets the captives free. There are times when the glory of the Father's creative beauty has been revealed to me. I have seen his artistry on flowers, tropical fish, sunsets, anointed music, and so much more. I have seen his beauty in people in a sudden revelation. To know this artistic and beautiful side of the Father will be so glorious that it will take eternity to understand it all. Meanwhile, we can look and see his beauty in nature. Most of all, there is an intimate relationship between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that is deeper than we'll ever know. We see it in small glimpses now, but the event of the cross speaks volumes. God loved his children so much that he decided to send his beloved only son to redeem us, even though we were hardened and didn't understand what it cost him. The son also loved the father and the father loved the son. Jesus in the father and through the power of the Holy Spirit was willing to take on our humanity and then die for our sins. He took the weight of our callousness toward the father and our unrelenting acts of sin and carried it to the cross so that it could be buried and the debt paid. He rose again in power and the sins were removed as far as the east is from the west. He did it to unite us with our loving Father. There is not enough time to tell of the glory of the Father. When we are raptured, we will finally see the Father's glory and feel the fullness of his love. If you love Jesus, you will love the Father. He will wrap you in complete love because he loves you with perfect love. We are his children. We will at last be fully known. He knows every hope and dream we have, and it's his good pleasure to give us the kingdom. We will relish his love. Jesus is coming. We will be enraptured in bridal love soon. We will be loved by the Father and embraced. The Holy Spirit, our beautiful God, will be there to welcome us as well. We have so much to look forward to. Hang in there. We are about to go home. Love awaits. More joy than you have ever dreamed of. Any wait or delay is worth it. Time is for one more soul. One more person coming to the arms of the Father. One more prodigal coming home. One more who will know the love of God. We will all be together soon. 
We have so much to look forward to. This is Linda from Simple Health Now.